Warning. This video contains spoilers for the Hutiao storyline. Just wanted to let you know as I am a proud believer in the quote, a person who spoils things like anime are worse than a racist. Pope Francis. Fuck you, Miho, you fucking liars! So if you've played the Hu Tao storyline, I'm sure you've seen... Big G. 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 He's mentioned time and time again by Pussy Rat Ming that I can't help but wonder what this god of a man looks like when he graced this land with his presence. But suddenly, Mihoyo throws us a curveball. This rando runs on by the Wangsheng parlor when suddenly exclaiming he has been possessed. The dialogue leads us to believe that this possessor may actually have been the legend himself, the mysterious Big G. A man I had thought would be of great honor and pride, one to represent the poor ass village men grew up in, now has the possibility to be the villain? With this new possibility, I could feel my ass cheeks moments away from falling off my chair with me on the edge of my seat. We follow Hu Tao to the exorcism site where we would rid this poor bastard of the pain he felt from being a fucking idiot and going to Wu Wong Hill in the first place. I feel like that's the same thing as doing a Ouija board with your friends. It's just fucking dumb. Shortly after the clash with those summoned by the monolith site, we are thrown yet another curveball. And at this point, it feels like Miyahoyo is really fucking with us. Because this whole thing about exercising this demon spirit was a ruse. With the power of 300 IQ Hu Tao, in order to apply what is referred to as a placebo effect, she effectively tricks this idiot brain kid into realizing that he isn't sick because of some spirit. But when this grand old parlor trick of hers was over, when we thought the story of ghosts and spirits are done, had come to a close. That's when it happens. Big G? The time had finally come. The man of the hour, no. The man of the fucking week, no. The man of the year, no. The man of the century, no, no, no. The man of the- uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Fuck! Any of you. Fuck this shit. This entire quest, I was expecting to see a man with a more chiseled face than those of Greek legend, bigger pectorals than Tsunade, stronger thighs than Splatoon's inkling, and we get this. A fucking child? And before anyone says, Bruh, have you actually read this story? Yes, I read this story. In fact, I never read any Genshin story quest line for line, but to pay respect to Hu Tao, the fucking real G of the story, I actually paid attention for once. And I am very much aware that when a person dies, their spirit reflects their physical form upon death. But come on! You can't tell me after hearing all the hype of this big G, and especially with a fucker named Little Wu looking like this, that you weren't expecting big G to be a big Fucking G. My theory is that Mihoyo is very much aware of my fetish with the Fatui agents, and most specifically the Hydro and Crowd Fatui, due to their delicious, robust curvatures. And with the information of how horny I get from staring upon them in the wilderness of Tevat, they threw me a curveball that was the character Big G. They try to redeem this absolutely distasteful lie by giving us some sort of wholesome story with the childhood friends helping Big G pass on into the afterlife. But once again, fuck that shit! I just wanted for the first time in the game a big circular figure that doesn't have their most definitely nosebleed provoking face covered up. In conclusion, there was too much Meng, too much sappy wholesome moments, no big big G, too much Meng, and this one part had me going in fucking circles like five times before realizing how to actually get past it. Gonna give this storyline a good old one out of five, and that one point is only because of Hu Tao. I don't know what they think they're crafting up over there in China, but uh, wait, you know what, actually. <laughs> Hey Mihoyo, it's Branzini. Just wanted to tell you that that Hu Tao storyline, stinky garbo poo poo. <laughs> I swear Mihoyo, you'll rue the day. You'll fucking rue it. Did they just hang up on me? Did they? I swear to fucking God! You know, as I sit back sometimes and look over my life, I often think about where I grew up at. A small little town in Virginia. But you know something, that little town was some of the best times of my life. Oh yeah, sometimes I look back. And I often wonder would I ever go back there. Yes, I would.